And I'm going to begin with Archbishop Vigano reflecting on the gift of Benedict XVI to the church in issuing a moda proprio called Sumorum Pontificum. This moda proprio is cited by Archbishop Vigano, and he says, quote, In 2007, Benedict XVI restored full citizenship to the venerable Tridentine liturgy, giving back to it the legitimacy that had been abusively denied it for 50 years. In his moda proprio, Sumorum Pontificum, he declared, quote, it is therefore permitted to celebrate the sacrifice of the Mass following the typical edition of the Roman Missal, which was promulgated by Blessed John the Twenty Third in 1962 and never abrogated as an extra, no, extraordinary form of the Church's liturgy. For such a celebration with either Missal, the priest needs no permission from the Apostolic See or from his own ordinary that is, his bishop. So what Ben the Sixteenth said is, you can go back and use the Missal, and in fact, he also says for all seven sacraments, the liturgy for all seven sacraments, going back to before Vatican II, 1962, and there's three important things that Benedict says here. Number one, that Mass was never abrogated. Here, Benedict the Sixteenth affirms the claim that Archbishop Lefebvre said until his death. The second thing that Benedict XVI said is, is that the priest, any priest, he can say the traditional Latin Mass, 1962, without the permission of the Pope, and even more importantly, without the permission of his own bishop. This motu proprio gives him full permission to do exactly that, to say the traditional Latin Mass. Now, this was actually a condition that was requested by the Society of St. Pius X. And then the third was that there would be a clarification on whether there was any new doctrine or dogma that was in the Second Vatican II documents and if they would be required to accept those. 